जयपुर कोटा अहमदाबाद दिल्ली में आपका स्वागत लखनऊ जंक्शन An incredible batting performance from Bangalore has ensured that uh, the little custom that we had this year of home teams winning has been broken. and has been broken quite definitively by uh, the night riders they've got the two points today and the first visiting team to win in this tournament what do we were like day 10 or day day 9 or something so <laughs> it's taken a little while coming but it has come the story at chinna swami shreya sayar won the toss and decided to uh, chase uh, bangalore while batting first on the surface that is definitely can't call it completely batting friendly did manage uh, to get up to 182 they got a good power play in uh, virat kohli was their highest scorer uh, with uh, 83 of 59 balls there were little cameos from cameron green glen maxwell dinesh karthik took them to 182 andre russell completed his 100 wickets in the ipl but picking up two today pick of the bowlers definitely for uh, the night riders with his variations in pace Uh, and then we figured that for the night riders this could be a tricky chase but phil salt and especially sunil narayan did not think that at all and they with their 85 run power play pretty much ensured that uh, the night riders were going to cruise to victory and they have done so with a very comfortable margin uh, what we are happy about is finally game is finished in time <laughs> see it was earlier but yeah well, it's finally finished on time you're watching cricket buzz live i'm gaurav kapoor with me uh, harsha bhogle and simon dool cheese that has been some batting performance by the night riders yeah well we we thought it was a decent score we yeah. thought on that surface the way that we thought it played i mean maybe it skidded on a little bit under the lights maybe there was a little bit of due but man it was a some batting performance i mean the yeah. power early on uh narain is that sort of player look i mean we can you know we can take the mickey out of him now and then about the way things have gone yeah. in the last couple of years because we haven't seen that sort of performance from him but uh he is that kind of player he's never going to waste deliveries and if he gets away on you it can be very difficult to stop him so salt has been a bit of a revelation for them i mean in the last well. couple of years they had jason roy didn't they he yes. pulled out He came in for Jason Roy, and in the curtain raiser, I remember we said that it could be a blessing in disguise. Mm. A player has left them, but they've got somebody who's been fantastic for England. Yeah. I don't know if you saw the West Indies series when they played five T Twenties. He was brilliant there. In fact, if you recall, we had we had in our discussion picked him ahead of Rahmanul Lagurbaz, who's actually one of the better T Twenty yeah. players going round on the franchise circuit. Yeah, because that's what he can do. And the other thing with Salt is he won't he won't play you that eighteen of twenty two balls kind no. of innings. Yeah, so. To that extent, what they did with Narayan was similar. Narayan, the one thing in his favour is if he gets out of five, he's probably scored those in three or four balls. Yeah, that's right. You're But never going to die wondering, no, no, as I say. No, no. But I'll go with Dooley. I did not see this coming, no. and the reason I didn't see it coming was see what happened: sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Stark, Harshit Rana, Andre Russell, all taking the pace off. Difficult to put power behind your shots. What seven, seven, and five? Eighteen runs. Uh, Nineteen, 19 in runs, those three overs. Nineteen came in those three. Then, ah, hang on, one eighty-two might be good. So I'll go with Dooley in that. You don't know if the ball was kidding on and coming along. Yeah. But I didn't see this coming. You didn't. So here's the question I want to ask you: because an 85 run power play means that the batters have just got it completely right, and the bowlers have got it completely wrong, yeah. right? So I want you to tell me, as a quick bowler, watching Siraj and watching Yash Tejal there, who've been expensive today, yeah. uh, and then we'll get to the captain seekers. We didn't see any spinner coming slow things down in the power play. So let's just talk about what the bowlers could have done differently. Didn't swing as much for Yash Tejal. Um, I was really disappointed in the fact that they played that over in the middle. Of his yeah. um, second over, he bowled one ball or two balls in his second oh, over. What are you talking about? Is in the, the big screen on the Yash big Dayal screen to at Rinku? the ground was yeah. played. Yashdale bowling to Rinku, it's just not the right time. And and I think from a, a director's point of view at the ground, you would say to the big screen because you have control. Big okay. screen, please take me. Big screen, don't take me. I and mean, we've all heard that harsher in our ears at times. It would just be a moment to say, big screen, just don't take us. Yeah, you know, you don't. I don't know why. I don't know why you want to be showing that. Because you noticed that Rinku was looking at the big yep. screen, and Yash then Dayal the next two balls, yes, you noticed that it could be a coincidence. Yeah, right. But he but tried to bowl an extra quick one, which went miles over the head and down leg side. Went for five wides, and yeah. I just think, you know, as it's much poor. as he thinks it's probably gone 
past him and, and he's thought about it and he's put it behind him, you're just watching it again. And, and I don't think that was necessary to play on the big screen in the ground. It just didn't... Yeah, it was not a happy day for him while he's bowling to have that trigger there. Yeah. When he's yeah, starting his spells. Exactly. You know, yeah. sometimes, say, a Rinku cool. Singh is going out to bat. Yeah. And, and this is... This is a director's approach on how to do mm. it. Say Rinku Singh is going out to bat. And you say, okay, what happened the last time Rinku Singh walked out yeah. to bat against? But remember, that was also not a KKR RCB game. Correct, no. yes. It was different you show game. heroics, it's fine. Yeah. But not, so that was you, my, you don't want yeah. to show somebody's worst day no. when they are playing. Yeah, and, and when they're in traumatic, the play. But it's, it's been traumatic for him. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's, it's not, as, as Harsha said, if Rinku's coming out to bat, and you can show it. Because that's his moment. Yeah. But you've shown it when a guy who was on the other end of it is has been punished, and he's actually bowling, mm. and everyone in the ground is watching this. Yeah. And he's looking up at the screen. He knows. Yeah. You know, he would have known. And, and look, yes, he could have bowled better, but in that situation, it's the last thing you want to be seeing. And I don't think that was overly fair. Yep. Uh, to have that done. So, okay, they didn't bowl well. Mm. Uh, that you know, let's not sugarcoat it. They, they were poor. Siraj wasn't great. Uh, but they were attacked. And as soon as they were attacked, they didn't know where to go. They went very short. Yeah. They got hit square a lot. Top edges, a few of them, yes. But as soon as you go short, you're asking to be hit square of the wicket. Here's the thing, right? We saw this when, you saw it like two hours before that, when they were going hammer and tongs against the Knight Riders. They brought in Anukul Roy, who bowled an over, kind of slowed things mm. up. They have Mayank Dagar, they have Glenn Maxwell. Glenn Maxwell has bowled so much in power plays yeah. in different leagues for Australia, etc. They didn't bring him, they didn't bring Mayank Dagar. It kind of just, I felt like strategically, perhaps they just played into Knight Rider's hands in that power play. I mean, you look at those figures, nine overs for 126. These are three good bowlers, right? Yeah. Siraj, Yash Dayal and Alzari Joseph. These are three good bowlers, nine overs for 126. Wow. Why did we think 182 was okay? Because bowlers kept taking the pace off. Yeah. Who took pace off was Vijay Kumar Vishak. Mm. Mm. And he suddenly... It, it, in that little phase, couple of wickets fell, you suddenly start thinking, oh, KKR are going to bottle this. They were never going to, of course. Yeah. But I, I thought maybe they could have tried that. Or maybe just some days a bowler thinks it's just not happening. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, even the, Maxwell in the power play to the left yeah. hander, to you know, I mean I know Narayan would probably prefer that than the short ball, but it's such a small ground. You know, yeah. just just try something slightly different. So yeah, look, bowlers didn't have their best day. Maybe Faf didn't have his best day, uh, best evening as, as captain. And they were they were blown off the park. I mean, yeah. it, look, we can say that they weren't great, but she's Kolkata were good. Mm. I mean, they were they were superb. Ooh, there was some yeah. serious power hitting uh, and it just carried on. I mean, right through, I mean, Venkatesh Iyer. Yeah, we got to talk about him as well because yeah. he's been copping a lot of flack as well. Because you've never seen that 2021 season again. Uh, and today he showed glimpses of that. I mean, that it was a solid. Fair. He got 400 runs last year. Yeah, which is uh, which is all right. He, he, it's not six seven hundred, he, but he's not he's not a Kohli Roy that kind. He's, yeah. he's someone who's part of a cast that goes out and score runs. Mm. So this year also, if Venkateshayar gives you three seventy five four hundred runs, I think as if I was KKR, I'd accept that. Yeah. If he was scoring them at this strike rate, yeah, uh, yeah this is a mm. solid strike rate. And some of his hits, there was there was Huge. one that almost went on the roof. Yeah. There was one six. I mean, yeah. Sunil Narayan hit some sixes. But Venkatesh Iyer, and yeah. that's what I'm saying. When you see him do that, that means you're seeing those long levers in a good flow. And that's a very good news for the night rider. Yeah, and he's coming out without any pressure. Uh, that, that's another thing. They've got off to a flyer. where we say 85 in the power play. So they've got off to an absolute flyer. He's coming out without any pressure. And his job is just to keep going. If Shreyas is saying prior to the game that his role is the anchor role. When they get a great start and Venkatesh comes out at three, he can keep playing. If they lose another one, then he just keeps going. And yeah. Shreyas can do that role. If that's the role, I'm not sure it's the role he should play on that side, but if that's what he's saying he's going to do, then Venkatesh I can just keep going. So, and, and he looks much better when he's actually trying to yeah. hit the ball. Not yeah. trying to nurdle it round. Well, here's the thing. If Phil Salt, Sunil Narayan and Venkatesh Iyer play like they played today, at number four, no, captain, this anchor can come out and play and you'll be fine. Right? There's no problem then because those three are getting the job done. And today, Sunil Narayan again. Jeez. 
Well, I say again, because we're talking about him again, not because he's got these runs again. He hasn't got them in a while. But uh, that's why I think we were talking and saying, uh, maybe yeah, maybe that experiment has run its course. Mm. But he today showed that uh, it hasn't. And the great thing is what we say is, you don't die wondering with him. Yeah. And if he's going to come in, if he's not going to be used at eight, then the same logic of that Chris Lynn and yeah. him, 100 run power play year, which was what, five years ago, six years ago, yeah. when this experiment started? Absolutely. I'm just trying What's to... I'm trying to pull out the numbers. Sunil Narayan opening the batting versus RCB. Yeah. Dipu mm -hmm. sent these stats over. Ah, nice. 34 of 17, <laughs> 54 of 17, yeah. 50 of 19, 27 of 19, 18 of 16, today 47 of 20. Maybe, Maybe it's a think, horses for courses. Yeah, horses for courses, just set him out. Oh, yeah. one sec. Are you saying that means we'll have a different opening combination for the next game? <laughs> well, I, I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe they just know that he the small ground... Maybe they know that he loves playing against yeah. RCB. He's got confidence. Uh, who knows? If it is, then it, then flip it around and I'll, I'll back, backtrack a little bit and say it's a genius move. Yeah. If they know that that's what they, you know, that he's thinking the same thing when he walks out against Bengaluru, he's got confidence. Mm. Maybe it's a genius move. Maybe yeah. we just didn't yeah. read it right. The reason yeah. in our previews we had said we don't see Sunil Narayan opening is we thought that ship had sailed mm. because people had figured out what to do. Sunil Narayan doesn't like the fast ball buzzing around his ears. Yep. He swats at it, he flaps at it, whatever. If it's less than very fast, he might connect and hit the ball out of the ground. Yeah. But it was an experiment that hadn't worked for a while and that's why we thought, yeah, maybe that ship has sailed. It's worked today. The thing with Sunil Narayan is, if it's worked today, it's no guarantee it'll work tomorrow. Mm, also, if he's failed twice, it's no guarantee that he won't come <laughs> off a third time. Yeah, yeah. So you, you really do not know. It came off today. Wow, KKR. Yeah. Wish for you it comes off again. And, and good on him. Yeah, it really is. It's unpredictable. Well, that's what makes it so exciting. And look how much it adds to their batting. Because when the, you know, the first 10 were gone, actually when the power play was gone, he just looked at it and said, man, they really have to try very hard to bottle it from there because that's how much that power play turned that game in their favour. Look at that opening partnership. Yeah. Uh, that, that was the winning of the game. They, they broke the back of the chase in the first six overs. Yeah, uh, six and, and a half overs, 86. Yeah, and that, that's the key for it. Just looking at Narayan's overall numbers through his IPL career, the average is just 13 yeah. and change, right? but strikes at 160. So it's not an opening batter. You know, they're not numbers that you would be worried about. Yeah. Averaging 13, striking at 160, you think if you're batting down the order, that's probably pretty good. Yeah. You're batting at seven and eight, that's about right. Yeah. You know, you might average 13 to 15, yeah. but as long as you strike at 160, you're doing okay for your team. So the numbers aren't great, even though he's probably opened, I don't know, he probably opened 30 times. Yeah. Uh, you know, of, or maybe more. More, more, yeah. Maybe more than that. So, you know, he is a one and... Yeah. Probably that, that says he's probably a 1 in 10 But But here's, guy. here's the thing. We always talk about this, Simon, and we discuss mm. it so much saying, if you're one of the key players for your team, if you can win three games yeah. for your team, you're invaluable, right? He's won one already. Well, he'll, he'll win three with the ball. Yeah. yeah. Four with the ball, probably. And he's won today he's with, won the, bat one with the bat. He's won one with the bat. So yeah. he's, already, he's already probably ahead of the curve. If, yeah. he, if he wins one or two with the bat, you take it. Yeah. yeah. One or two. For someone like... You, someone like a Venkatesh Iyer or a Shreyas Iyer or a Phil Salt, you win three or four off your own bat, you're happy. Mm. Yep. For a Sunil Narayan, you take anything you get. Okay. Day like today, you say, wow, it worked. Yeah. yeah. Uh, very yeah, happy. And it would. And uh, I guess when you talk about that opening partnership, it definitely overshadows Mr. and Mr. Iyer, which is Venkatesh <laughs> and Shreyas. Let's look at their partnership because their partnership uh, has, was also key because, you know, here's the thing. You can get the great start, but you still have to carry yes. your team across. And, and they had got a little less than, well, half the runs. So Venkatesh and Shreyas did have to do the hard yards there. And you see they've done 75 at 44. And that's, that's and you really make a good. valid point. Sometimes when you've got a start like that, you, you tend to tell yourself... Now, don't blow this, right? You've got, you've done well. Yeah. Don't spoil this now. We can just knock it around. We can win from here. And that's why that innings by Venkatesh Ayer was so good. He just didn't let the pressure build. He said, we'll keep on playing. And I, it's, it's a huge win. You know, people accuse us of going after net run rate too early. Mm. But yep. you never know how it works. Yeah, and so this, this is, is a fabulous win for KKR. This is a big, big booster shot for their uh, net run rate because they won by seven wickets. Uh, they've won with uh, 3.1 overs in hand. So, yeah, this is definitely going to boost yeah. uh, their net run rate. Everyone yeah. in our production is busy taking screenshots. KKR number two on the table. <laughs> yeah, there's, uh, there's a lot of... There's a lot of 
KKR fans. Has a producer ever fans. given you that as quickly as someone has spoken about it? He had it ready to give it to you. I think he had done it with mental math. <laughs> I don't even think he needed a calculator for this. Uh, yeah, because we've got a we've got a purple producer here. We call him PP. He's a purple <laughs> producer. So uh, there you go. They're number two. Uh, you can see Chennai defending champions uh, on the top with a net run rate after two games of almost plus two. Absurd. And Bengaluru now, having played three, only won one. Uh, and, you know, that sort of... And, and even that one, Simon, yeah. it was pulled out by DK and Lomro. DK and Lomro. It, it was going, that game yeah. was going too. And, you know, we talk about, we've talked about uh, being inhospitable mm. at, at home. Yeah. Like the story of the fox and the stock. You know the story of the fox and the stock? Fox and the stock. Yeah, the fox invites the stock. Oh, okay. I thought like a Bombay stock table. exchange no. or something. <laughs> the fox <laughs> invites the stock over for a meal yeah. and serves it in a plate. Oh. And says, oh, I'm sorry, you can't have it. And, yeah. and has it off the plate. So the stock invites him home and serves him a meal in a vase. Yeah. So you're being inhospitable to your host. That's not the moral of that story, That's but it a... seemed a bit like that. Oh, okay. Actually, I'd Google it, so I wanted to show you I knew it. <laughs> yeah, I was... No, but since you Where said he's inhospitable. Got this class four story from it's a fourth grade story you know, that he's reading out for us. Invite yeah. people home and make it difficult. Mm. But that is what RCB need to do this year. Yeah. Invite people home, make it difficult, win matches at home. Yeah. Because they have to prove people wrong with their home record. What was it, one in seven last year? No, every time the IPL's been in Bangalore. Since 2016, they haven't qualified after that great, great year in 2016. The three yeah. years they qualified in a row yeah. were the three COVID years when you didn't play there. Mm. So yeah. they've got to ensure that they can win at home. Yeah, well, you have another one to go yet, haven't they? One more in this. Yeah, one more at home yeah. in this uh, stretch. This run. But but here's I mean here's the thing. We just got a you know fourth grade story that Mr. Bogley told me. He does not know that I read at the seventh grade level now. <laughs> all right. So I don't need these kiddie stories anymore. All right. No, just trying to highlight. You said inhospitable. <laughs> inhospitable. What happens yeah, yeah. when you invite guests? Yeah, and I love the story about a fox there. going out and buying shares. That's what the story was about, right? The fox, a fox dealing in stock. All right, uh, let's uh, show you the cool moments now because uh, you know there's a, there's a lot of uh, shareholders of these. Uh, the carrier room air conditioners, coolest moment of the match, and we've got a lot of people who love these, and they point them out to us on uh, Twitter, and we bring out uh, the top ones. So let's see if Simon and Harsha uh, agree with you on these ones. Let's see your observations. Let's bring them up. Here's the first one. This is. Mask the mask. All right, that's your name. Pretty cool. Wholesome moment between Virat and Gambhir. Two Delhi boys meeting and hugging each other. All right, yeah, that was cool. That was pretty cool. And they're older now, man. They're older. Mm. They're calmer. They like it. They're buddies. They go back a long way. You guys keep saying, what's the fight between them? There is no fight between them. You saw it today. Kohli's flick of Stark, the shot of the tournament, is my carrier coolest moment of the match. It, uh, that was the, the no look six. No, look shot. six, wasn't it? That's, That's a great cool. shot. Mm. I like that. Okay, there's a big one coming up. Good thing I'm reading at the seventh grade level because I can read this. Bring it. There it is. From scoop to out, Fab's audacious shot sails for a six only to fall victim to Harshit Rana's cunning delivery in the very next ball. Cricket's unpredictable beauty in full mm. display. Mm. Okay, nice. Is that it? Is that it? Mm. All right, cool. So, Simon, you tell me, what was your coolest moment of the match? <sighs> I'm just trying to think, actually. Um, mm. I, I'd go with the part, the opening partnership. For I mean, I, in the chase, that's what you want. So I don't know whether it, we can go with the whole opening partnership or the decision to play Narayan at the top because he loves Bengaluru. Mm. Um, something along those lines would be I, would be my coolest moment of the match because they broke the back of the chase. Yeah. And in a chase we thought was tricky. They've made it look very easy with a wonderful opening combination in uh, Salt and Narayan. Mm. For you? I think I'm going the start that Salt gave. Yeah. If you remember Salt against Marco Jansen mm. at, uh, at Kolkata, he goes 6-6-6. Six, six, six. Yeah. Now Salt against Siraj has gone 6-4-6. Six, six. Yeah. Yeah. I know hitting like that is not a coolest moment. It's a cool thing to do, yeah. Of course it was. Yeah. Uh, I think I'll agree with one of them there, which saw that beautiful moment between Virat and uh, Gautam, because there's just so much made out about this. Then what? Things happen in the heat of the moment, right? You've you known each other from you know younger days. You have a go at each other. 
doesn't mean that you hate each other. It doesn't mean you're coming at each other with swords. It just means that you're both passionate when you're on the field. And when you're off the field, you shake hands, you pat each other's back, and you smile and have a little moment together. So that's what we thought. So thank you for all your inputs. That was the Carrier Room Air Conditioner's coolest moment of the match. All of us have uh, our own perspective on it. And uh, yeah, we're all correct. Remember, this is not fact. It's opinion. <laughs> okay, well, uh, let's have a look at what's coming up tomorrow. Yeah, there's uh, the one game. It's Saturday with just the one game. It's uh, Lucknow playing Punjab. This match is happening in uh, Lucknow. Punjab, remember, were in Bangalore a few days ago and now they're visiting uh, Lucknow. Let's have a look at uh, the teams that we think if there'd be any changes uh, at all. Uh, let's start with... Who are you starting with? Are we are ready. Yeah, they beat DC. Punjab, ready, Punjab ready. have beaten mm -hmm. uh, DC in one game. So but lot, lost to RCB. And then lost to RCB. Yes. Yeah, so they're 1-1. They're 1-1 one, one. One, one, and Lucknow have just playing the second game. Yeah, so let's have a look at uh, the Punjab team and uh, see who uh, they have. They make any changes at all. What do you reckon? I don't think so. Um, Rabada was much better in the last game. Best, huh? they've got to give him another game, shouldn't they? Yeah, I think so. I think uh, you know they've got to stick with him uh, for if it was good enough in game one and two. I think you've got to go three, maybe four, mm -hmm. uh, and and you know who would you bring in if not him? You maybe find another opening batter, shift them up, bring Sekunder Raza in if you were looking for. Yeah, yeah you have Atharva Taide, the uh, Indian who's yeah. opened last year yeah. as well. Or Prab Simran can open. Prab Simran has opened as well. Yeah. Um, so they could shuffle everybody up and, and um, have Sekunder Raza in the side if they wanted to leave um, Besto out, but then. Yeah. I think it might be too early, though. I think so. I think it's too early. Two games yeah. too early. No, I, think, I think it is too early. early. Looking forward to seeing Harpreet Rai tomorrow because Lucknow also helps bowlers like that. And, you know, we were just discussing it in, uh, during the game in Bangalore. There are some players who are doing pretty well, but just for some reason go under the radar. Mm. They just fly under the radar. Harpreet Brar is mm. one player who just flies under the radar. Yeah. Last year in the middle overs, his economy rate was the best. Yeah. Okay. Nobody was talking about it. I looked at the stats and said, oh yeah, really? Because we've seen him play, but it's not something that hit you. So he just flies under the radar. He's actually a, a, a pretty good cricketer. Yeah. He can bat a bit. And if there's something in the track, he'll give you four overs consistently. Yeah, uh, talking about something in the track, I mean, they have bowlers. You like the fact that, Simon, their bowling uh, lineup actually has a lot of variations mm. in it. Yeah, it does. They've got a lot of bases covered left arm, left arm spin, left arm mm. seam, right arm seam. You know, um, they can play the leg spinner if they want to. They've, they've got a lot of bases covered. Um, it's, you kind of feel like if Besto gets going, yeah. And that middle order continues to sort of fire a little bit. Jitesh starts to really get some runs at the back end. They've got a, a side that can, you know, make the top four. Yeah. It's, it's a, you know, it's a possible top four, but they need the top guys to be scoring yeah. runs. I think that's that's the big key for them. Yeah. You know the other day in Bangalore, Rabada bowled beautifully. Yeah. yeah. Uh, on that surface where you needed a fast bowler to hit mm. the deck, they didn't have another. Harshal Patel is not that kind of no. bowler. Arshdeep is not that kind of bowler. Mm. So, Rabada was fantastic. I don't know what kind of surface awaits us in Lucknow. But I hope it's not a surface that kills Rabada. <laughs> it always so. is, no? That Lucknow surface has never been one which yeah. has kind of been fast and true bounce, but whatever. It's always been year, kind of a little sluggish. But this year, all the surfaces are similar. Mm. I haven't seen a surface so far that you say, ah, this is a typical, this Delhi kind no. of page, a typical Lucknow kind of no, pitch. No. We haven't seen that yet. Yeah. Because the word is that this, they're saying good batting pitches. Mm. I like the home and away, the home and away rule with home advantage, where you prepare the kind of tracks that suit you. You obviously don't go and prepare a 120 kind of pitch. Yeah. But... I, I like the idea. So suppose Lucknow says, you know, come home, we'll play 150 games, see how good you are. Like Chennai used to do all these years. Yep. But we're not seeing that. So I think we're seeing a homogeneity in pitches. I think we have seen a T20 international in Lucknow, which has been a 120 game. Do you remember Hardik captaining? And then after that, saying the next day that I did not think this pitch was an international yeah. quality pitch. This was a year, maybe a year and a half. 122 few. I mean, you, mm. I'd like to see a few 150, 155 games from time yeah. to time. Yeah. yeah. Was it last year we had a couple of 120, 130 games at Lucknow? Might, might well have been. Because Lucknow was, was always yes. very sluggish. A couple of low scoring yeah. we had, games We had Lucknow, year. which was sluggish. Delhi was, uh, yeah. Delhi was a bit iffy. We had two or three grounds like that that were a bit iffy. Chennai, of course, has changed completely. Mm. Yeah. But we had these three or four grounds that were a touch iffy. Hyderabad now is 
just is go a fetch 300 ball. in a 20 game ground <laughs> go fetch the ball 300 yeah. uh, this was india new zealand yes. being informed it was india yeah. new zealand t20 i they got 99 and india mm. got 101 in like the 20th over yeah, 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 so yeah. super super sluggish uh, seems unreal for a t20 game right now at the back of these last few days all right let's have a look at the lucknow team and see what they are doing we of course there was a lot of talk about kl rahul being in the middle uh, in the in the middle order that of course has changed mm. uh, uh, they've got some uh, solid batting as well. They've got, you know, some uh, some bowling options there. They, they've, they've got bases covered, uh, but uh, I don't think they're going to be making any changes. Uh, Quinton de Kock's form will be a, a, a worry. Yes. Uh, didn't have a great um, South African T20 oh. tournament. Uh, and again, you know, these guys that just decide to do away with international cricket all of a sudden and don't play that have that real competitive edge or that drive to play international cricket anymore. All of those little things, they can they can just weigh a little bit heavier on you at times and I, I think his you know he needs a score he needs a score or two in the next couple of games otherwise there might be a little bit of pressure on Kyle Mayers offers you a couple you of go. options yeah you know he offers you a new ball option as well as uh, a, a powerful batting option um, they could put a, an Indian opener uh, to the top and, and play Ashton Turner in the middle mm. um, you know they, they've got other options there so he'd want a to get a score or two in the next two or three innings. I just wonder if this KL Rahul opening the batting is going to be what we are seeing around the year because KL Rahul wants to audition for a place in the T20 World Cup team. Yeah. And the place that is available for him is the slot that he used so well in the 50 over World Cup, which is be that batter at four or five, maybe Sky and him batting four or five thereabouts. And word was that he had actually said, I will bat in the middle order from now on yep. I'm a middle order player. Lo and behold, the very first game, he goes out to open the batting and there's, they have that particle thinking, wow, I finally got my slot. Uh, no, you don't. <laughs> you're, you're batting at three. Yeah. So, uh, I don't know how that is going to play out. Does yeah. K. Rahul actually want to open the batting? Yeah. In, which, in which case, it's fine. He's a 600-run batter. He's yeah. a fine batter. Does he actually want to open the batting? Yeah. And that has, uh, that has sort of some implications, some repercussions as, as, as the game goes along, as the tournament goes along. Joy and I talked about this the other night, actually, and it's like... Well, at the end of the day, what is best for the team? Correct. Yes. And that's all you. This this is where you're playing right now. What happens in two months' time, really doesn't yeah. matter. Correct. Really does not matter. I mean, I know that sounds a bit harsh, but it, what is best for our team to qualify and to win this tournament? And Can if I that is KL at the, at the top, then so better. That's what Justin Langer and uh, the the coaching staff are thinking. Can I add to what you're saying, though? Even factually, that's true because KL Rahul has actually never played in one position. No, always he's, changed he's better one to six all the anyway. Yeah, so if you impress, no matter what position Doesn't you're matter. playing in, if you can you're get right. 600 runs, good strike rate, make your team go up, yep. you're in the team. 100%. Then they figure out where to play you, yeah. and you're good to bat anyway. Yep. Because anyway, because yeah, because you have. Yeah. yeah, you have batted in the middle so order. You be. have batted it, four, or five. You have yeah, batted one. So two. He had that one season for uh, RCB, I think, where he batted in the middle, mm. but it's. Suddenly, you're coming and batting five or six. As DK will tell you, it's a different beast yeah, going out completely. to bat suddenly over there. Completely. So if you're if you're a KL Rahul who's who's gone 14 games opening the batting and then says, "Ah, no worries, I'll bat at number five mm. in in a big T20 World Cup game," it won't be that easy for him to come out and no. bat at five. Mm. So the maybe India wants him yeah. to bat at five, yeah. but the franchise wants him up there, and this is this is a high-profile yeah. franchise. It's like it's like England saying, "I want this guy as a midfielder." Yeah. Mm. But Guardiola saying, no, he's my striker. Yeah. yeah. I don't care what you I'd want. Be, I'd be striker. more worried if it was a young kid, a, a young oh, player. Okay. Uh, I, I, I understand what you're saying, Ash, and I think it is very, very different. And DK you know, told us, and we've all seen that it is incredibly different batting from one to, to five or six in a T20 game. But I'd be more worried if it was a young player who had never done it. Mm. Uh, with KL, I know he's, you know, we know he's got the skill. He's just going to have to start at a higher tempo if they get a start, if he's in the side. But they're all ifs and buts at the moment. <laughs> Correct. You know, all, all that luck now want him to do is score runs at the top and, yeah. and qualify. It's a long way to go. It's a long way to go right now. <laughs> it's like a couple of games in. Yeah. We've got a long way to go. All right. Let's have a look at, uh, there's a few bits of business we have to do now. The joy factor question and answer. Have you got that ready? Let's get that out of the way real quick. Because I know that Harsha and Simon spent a good 20 minutes trying to decode that question. <laughs> should be like me. Let it go in 20 seconds. It's not going to happen. Gone in 20 seconds. Yes. Gone in. <laughs> Uh, the all-time leading scorer of his nation's cricket league. This player has played for Mumbai, uh, Hyderabad and another franchise for which he jointly holds a partnership record. Name him. Mm. We managed to get another. I think he was right. 
Yeah. We eventually got a bit of help with the answer, but our thinking was right. Gupta ji? It's Gupta ji, right? Martin Guptill? No. No? No, no, no. No, no. no. no Martin Guptill. Just a little bit north of New Zealand. Oh, okay. Chris little bit Lane. north. Mm. There you go. That's why I said north. Not only west, but a little bit north. <laughs> yeah. Brisbane. Yeah. Remember, they used to call it Linsanity. Mm. Correct. When he was going hard in the Big Bash, it was called yeah. Linsanity. Yeah. We saw a little bit of Linsanity in, uh, in KKR. Yeah. Then he played at Sunrisers, and I think that record came with uh, part of it was Kale Rahul, I think, something like that. Yeah, well, so that's Chris Lynn is the answer. We didn't, we didn't get that. But there were a few people out there who did get it. Uh, we've confirmed that none of them is Joy with an alternate ID. Uh, it was Sham Prasad who got it correct. Bhai, agar Sham hai, to Prasad to milega aapko. Well done, Sham Prasad. I just remembered some. I just remembered. Congratulations. There was CBSC Bhattacharya. CBSC Bhattacharya. This it. question was a bit like CBSC Bhattacharya. It's CBSC Bhattacharya. That's it. It's a... Uh, it's a long joke. Okay. I'll, I'll tell you later. <laughs> later. Not All our day. Indian fans have understood. He's CBSC Bhattacharya. Okay, after this, uh, we have uh, the leaderboard of our guessing game. Nobody got it right today because who can guess that 85 will happen in the power play? Nobody. So that's it. It's, this, one is, this one's gone. Yeah, but what was fun to see was hope flickering and then dying. Yes, absolutely. Yes. For all of us. Do you want to talk us through your hope flickering and dying in uh, that power yes, play? Yes, I just want to tell you, I've, I've, <laughs> I've not had a Oh, good you game. dropped... You are 75. I've come from 75 to 57. I will be calling for an audit of this because I don't know how that has happened. Uh, we'll get that done. Uh, Manoj Tiwari is at 40. He's got one bullseye. And Simon Duell is at close to uh, towards 28 and a half percent, but he's also got one correct. That was today. Mm. 182 was your guess, and it was bullseye on 182. There are no bonus points for that, but there is uh, <laughs> bragging value, bragging rights by That's seeing it. your name up there. So, uh, yeah, I'm still leading, but Manoj Tiwari is... Hot on my tail. It's hot on my tail. But hey, tomorrow's another day and I will come back and I will fight and I will climb right up. We have two caps as well to give away. This is a new mm. thing we've started oh, nice. with Buzz Live. Okay. It's a green cap and a red cap. Okay. Right? This is for bowlers and batters, the impact that they have at the death. Mm -hmm. Right? So the red cap for bowlers, because red means stop, so the bowler can stop the batters. We've thought this through, man thought this through. Mm. And green, of course, is for batters because, boom, they go. So let's have a look at uh, the list and see who's there with the red cap and the green cap. Bring it on. Bring it. Come on. Don't be shy. It's the green cap, the leader, Andre Russell. No surprise there. Strike rate of 310. Ryan Parag, after yesterday's uh, heroics, remember, he hit Andrik Nokia for 25 in that last over. So he's at 293. Heinrich Klassen is at 253 on that list. I guarantee you, you will not be at number three for long. I can't, I can't help climbing. laughing. The way Klassen bats, he, he's the last person to think he'd be number three on a, on a strike rate list. Is, this is, Klassen at 250 in death overs is him starting slow. Yeah. Right? He's just, he's just reached. You know how you just check into a hotel room, you just put your bag down, you haven't taken your shoes no. off yet, you haven't opened your suitcase. That's Heinrich Klassen at this point in time. But hey, even in the small sample size, Who's impressed you? Uh, he has, definitely. Um, Russell's innings, obviously, and, and he's impressed with the ball, too, which has been good. His all-round game has been uh, excellent so far. But classen has been... I, I just Nobody hits that shot off the back foot down the ground any better in yeah. the world. Not many play it, but I've not seen anyone hit it cleaner, more consistently and better. And he deals in sixes. Yeah. He doesn't deal in fours. No. Fours are non-existent half I mean, the, the other time. The other day in Hyderabad, he hit, a, he hit a four, and we were all looking at each other saying, what happened here? Yeah. yeah. Because that was the first four he'd hit in the tournament. Yeah. Must be a glitch in the matrix. <laughs> yeah. It's out of syllabus. How's he got a four? All right, we've got... Uh, I, we're all guaranteeing you, by the way, Klassen will finish at the top of this list. He'll get the green cap <laughs> at the end of nine weeks. Everyone can fight, uh, you know, whatever, but this one's done. All right, let's have a look at the bowlers. Uh, the red cap going to the bowler with... Uh, the highest efficacy in those uh, death overs. Uh, Siraj, of course, the economy being down three overs, he's bowled uh, for 15. There's Avesh Khan, there's Jaspreet Bumrah. Uh, not much to choose from here in terms of just being a few matches, few overs yes. here. But uh, who do you think? Simon, who do you think, Harsha, will top this list? I'm actually impressed list? by someone who's not in this list, and that's okay. Sandeep Sharma. Mm -hmm. Okay. I thought Sandeep Sharma's bowled well. Yeah, uh, but... That, that number for Siraj is, is, is yeah. fantastic. That number will change. How well he bowls, that number will change. I mean, day like today is 3 was 46. Yeah. But anytime you can see five against your name, that is... That, that uh, I think Bumrah and the Fizz will fight that one out for me yeah. at the back end of the tournament. Yeah. I think they're both high-quality 
death end bowlers. So yeah. I'll be looking for the Fizz or Boomer to probably be somewhere near the top of that board at the back end. Excellent. All we've left to do now is uh, get a player to watch out for from each team for tomorrow and then we can all go home. Nicholas Puran. Nicholas Puran for Lucknow. Mm -hmm. And uh, what about for Punjab? For Punjab, Punjab, the Shikhar. Please, it does, you know, this is, it doesn't even matter. This is like Monopoly money. The car's waiting. Can you guys just hurry up? Take any name. <laughs> just take any name. Say Dalair Mendi. I don't care. Uh, Parikal <laughs> for me at, at, at Lucknow. And um, I'm going to go on, with boys. Um, Prab Simran. Prab Simran. Needs, needs. Harsha, any yeah. name. Just anything. Come on, just say it. Just say Johnny it. Besto. There you go. Thank you. No, because I have to prod him a little no, bit. No, because I saw him in the test match. He was looking wow. And after 20 runs, it was almost as if someone said, right, pocket money's over. That's right. It was, I said so he had a speed he governor. Bat like that. He had a speed governor, a, yeah, right? You reach that and then. And that's it. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah, one of those scooters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it locks. All right. Talking about scooters, we're going to get on our scooters and scoot out of here now. We're going to see you tomorrow at 7 p.m. on uh, Creek Buzz Live. Uh, so do join us then. Tomorrow there's only the English show, so I don't even have to say you have a choice. You have to, you don't have a choice. I've just, I've shut that tap. It's like nothing distracting you. So come here at 7 o'clock. A big thank you to Simon Duhl and Harsha Bogle. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank, thank you. you for being here. I'm Gaurav Kapoor. You were watching Creek Buzz Live. Scooter Nicalo. <laughs> <laughs> Delhi mein aapka swagat. Lucknow Junction. Nilanada, Kadige, Haruki, Varashi, Nilanada, Kadige, Haruki, Varashi, Nilanada, Kadige, Haruki, Varashi, Nilanada, Kadige, Haruki, Varashi, Nilanada, Kadige, Haruki,